Hello people, uh, this is Depressing Gamer and today I'll be doing a video about, uh, it's actually a video response to um, uh, Six Big Ghost. He uh, did a uh, top 5 sexiest video game consoles. Uh, yeah, you know, the sleekest, uh, most beautiful, the best design uh, for, you know, for the eye. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a video response to this one. Uh, I really like this uh, list. Uh, it's a good channel as well. Uh, probably gonna put it uh, a link here. Um, so let's start what we have for you guys today. Uh, number five uh, first is the Atari uh, 2600. Um, this is not the first one that came out for the was called this. Uh, the first one came out in uh, 1977. Uh, I think it was called something else though. Uh, I think it was like V Video Console System or something like that. Uh, Atari. Uh, then you had, you know, the, the Woody and the Darth Vader. Uh, the Woody was obviously in uh, wood and uh, uh, the Darth Vader one, I think, was exactly the same, just yes, but it was in uh, you know black plastic. So this one came uh, a bit later, uh, actually a lot later, in '84, I think, and it was also called uh, Atari 2600 uh, Junior sometimes. So I really like the design of this one. Uh, uh, this one is uh, giving me trouble lately, though. I can't get it to play in color at the moment. I don't know what happened. Uh, and another thing I don't like about this one is that the cartridges go this way. I think, you know, it should be another one so you can see, you know, the beautiful pictures, stuff like that. I mean, obviously, with the, the handhelds, uh, you put them in here, maybe you should play from this side. But <laughs> it's something wrong then, uh, I think, about the design of it. This is the way I, I think it's the front of the machine. So it should be... You know, switcheroo on this one, but you can't have that. Um, one of my favorite uh, games in it right now, uh, River Raid. Uh, yeah, I really like the design, you know, with this shaded color here and stuff. Yeah, it's a really nice one. Um, so let's go for the number four. Uh, it's, uh, it's a Sega, actually. It's a Sega Mega Drive uh, one. Uh, what the Americans call Genesis. Uh, I really like this design. It's like very... Some people think this is really one of the ugliest. I don't think so at all. Uh, it's, it, I mean, this was Sega Drive's... Uh, the Sega's uh, uh, weapon in the 16-bit uh, era. Uh, for me, the SNES, the Super Nintendo won that. But for many other people, this is the winner. Uh, I would, uh, I would never put the number two up here with the most beautiful machines. It's really ugly. But this one is always remind me of like Star Wars. Uh, you know, Darth Vader. It looks very like Darth Vadery, doesn't it? I don't know. It always reminded me of Star Wars and Darth Vader. This one. I think it's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Came in '88. Uh, yeah. It was this one was much bigger in the states and uh, Japan and Europe actually. Uh, we went for the Nintendo Europe much more. Uh, yeah, I like this one. So that was number four. Let's see what we have. Uh, it's number three. Uh, it's another. Uh, it's a Nintendo machine. Uh, it's uh, the Famicom, where it all started. Famicom, the family Nintendo's family computer. Uh, this was released in uh, Japan only. Uh, you know, in like everybody know that we have the NES in uh, Europe and uh, in the States uh, <laughs> with the the front loader toaster. <laughs> Not very good idea. I mean, I like the design of the the, the NES as well, uh, but the thing is, I repainted mine uh, quite drunk, so it looks shit. Uh, 
So I'm not gonna put that on the list. I have Pac-Man in it. Yeah, I really like the design on this one. It's a bit jelloed. Uh, I think it should be a yellow maybe. You know, I like that. Uh, uh, the thing I don't like about this one compared to the, the to the NES is the controls. The controls are for the the NES ones, and uh, these cords are you know stuck in the machine as well, and they're damn short. You know, what the fuck? I have to you have to sit really close to the TV or have the system really close to you. It's uh, it is a really bad idea. Uh, I mean, you can mod it to so it works. Uh, you know, uh, that cost a lot of money to mod it with the longer cores. Uh, now this was released in Japan in '83, and you know, the NES was released between '85 and '87. Uh, I have remodded it mine, so uh, remove the RF out for. You know, video and put in uh, also uh, uh, sound out here. So now, so I can, you know, play this on my television, my European television. Yeah, it's a very nice, very nice uh, system for the eye. I really like it. Uh, yeah, that was number three. Uh, then we have. Uh, the number two. I'm actually going to show you two systems here. Uh, this is also on Nintendo. It's the uh, the Super Famicom or the SNES European version. This first one is the, the Super Famicom I have. Uh, I really like the. I showed you before this box, but yeah, this this is perfect design. I think. Uh, I don't know what happened in the States, why they put out that really ugly 80s looking purple mishmash box ugly fucker. Yeah, I really like this one. Uh, especially this, you know, the brand here. It's really nice. Uh, the Japanese one, the Super Famicom, has really short cords as well. That's the Famicom. Uh, the European one has the longer ones. Uh, I think it came out like in '92 in Europe and the States, and then '90 in Japan. So let's put that one down and put up the European SNES. Also have that one in the Famicom box, though. Uh, I really like boxes, as you can see. So this is the European Super Nintendo, the SNES. Uh, it looks exactly the same as the Super Famicom. And this is my second sexiest machine uh, that I have. And maybe there would be other systems on the list if I had them, but I don't have them, so... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show you. Yeah, I can show you on this one. The Japanese ones, I'm playing, you know, also American cartridges, are, you know, just, you know, the wider the, the opening here. So, because the American cartridges are bigger. But, you don't have to mod anything other, uh, other than that to make them play. Uh, yeah, this is 50 hertz. the other one, the other one is 60. So that's the number two. Uh, I'm gonna do this video in a two part of the history because uh, I also put in bubblers in there or what do you call that in you know, honorable uh, mentions other machines that could have been on the list as well uh, I really want to mention and show them because I think they're really nice so this is the first part and uh, yeah see you guys soon peace out